What's up guys, so I'm here doing my Q&A and I'm at my school parking lot, so it might be a little loud. I'll try to not speak when there's loud parts, but please bear with it. There'll be sounds and cars as you can hear right now because there's a lot passing. But let's get right into this. So I'm just gonna shoot off, I'm gonna say the name and then ask like the question and then answer it and that's how it's gonna go. So let's start the top of the comments thing on my video. Um, let's start with Jake Whittaker. What other sports do you do and what do you want to do when you're older? Um, so other sports I do is cross country and track. I'm really into that. And I also do surfing. I'm really bad at that, but I love doing that. And when I'm older, uh, I, I want to say I want to stick to skating. And then I don't know. I never like looking too far into the future, especially when me getting old. That's something I don't really want to face. So I'm just going to see where life takes me. Hopefully I'll have another passion that doesn't require my body. Okay, the skateboard nerd says, what is your opinion on braille skateboarding and the direction it's heading? So I've always loved braille and I can never like hate them because of like they got me into skating and taught me so much. However, their new direction they're heading, they make fun videos that go viral. However, I think old braille, old braille is a little bit better. Um, Kaden, do you enjoy skating with your helmet? Um, well, I'd say if I had the choice, like my mom makes me and if I had the choice, I probably would still even though I don't like it because I know the importance. Uh, Diego Contreras, why do you suck? Um, I don't know. I, I've been skating for three years and I'm pretty bad for a three year skater. It just happens to some people. Martini Skateboarding, how do you find motivation to keep um, making skate videos on YouTube? I'm starting to lose, lose motivation and viewers. So that's the thing. I actually faced that a lot during the summer even though I thought I'd make more videos. And honestly, I just like seeing your guys' feedback and the amount like when a video becomes successful for me, for instance, if it gets over 500 views, I deem it successful. It's really rewarding seeing that, knowing that that many people watch it. And also, um, it's like a little bit embarrassing, but it's also really cool when my friends see the progress I've made. How do you learn a ninja kickflip? I have no idea, and um, then one day I just lost them. Can't kickflip anymore, but I'm getting them back. Um, Jay Holbrooks, are you thinking of ever making a street part soon? I want to make a street part so bad, but I don't have a filmer. And I've gotten a few clips, but it just looks really dumb if they're all still frame. So, whatever. Um, how old are you and what grade? I am 15 years old and I am in a sophomore year of high school, which is 10th grade. What made you or inspired you to start skating? Um, just a board laying in the garage and I said, okay, I better learn how to ollie. And then Braille taught me. And I don't know, I just never stopped. I never like, when I, back when I was still learning how to ollie, I was never questioning like, why do I skate? I just did it. Um, Blake Parker says, favorite trick and favorite food? Favorite trick, ooh, very old heel. And favorite food, um, either carnitas tacos or bacon and egg tacos. Um, Kennedy Leopard, what size board do you ride? I uh, do a size eight and I want to move up so bad. Arthur Gravener, uh, why don't you 50 your rail? I wonder that too, I'm just really scared of it and it's because of the shape of the rail, but I'm gonna get over that fear soon because I haven't done it a couple times recently. Um, Noah McGoober says, best advice for tray flips, I can pop, shove, and kick flip clean and consistent, but tray flips are my enemy. This is what you do. You go out for an hour and only try tray flips for an hour. And you do that for a week straight and you will learn tray flips. I promise you that. If that doesn't work, I somehow learned them on grass first and then took it to the streets, but there's no secret. Cole Sim Simmons, do you like rap? It's okay, I listen to some. Jay Holbrooks, can you learn to skate handrails? I really want to, but I don't think I'm at that level of commitment yet. I probably have the skill level, but not the commitment level. Shane Vinton, what's your favorite obstacle to skate? Um, a really solid bank, like a bank to flat to get a lot of air off is really fun. Danny Sakuland, do you even vape my dude? I do not, I do not do any form of any of that. I do eat a lot of sugar. Mark Expe Spejo, I'm so sorry about botching your names. How do you commit to tricks and how long How long did it take you to learn all the basic tricks? Um, it took me two years to learn all the basic tricks. Backside 180 was actually my last basic trick. And how do I commit to them? It gets easier. I'm really bad at committing, but I promise it gets easier. Um, Ethan, as can you please do a steezy kickflip for the viewers? All right, I'll just see the kickflip right here. Can I have a free skateboard by Football Tutorials? Uh, sorry bro, I don't have many skateboards to get around. Skate for life, what tricks do you want to be able to land on one year? Uh, do a small park down rail, and I'm really working on laser flips. 
uh, Dario and Chivera, at what age do you think you'll make a sponsor tape? Hopefully 16, that's when I think I'll have the skill level to make a really good one, and also the filmer. And then PFC Production says, uh, what size board do you skate, or size 8? And then can I get a shout out? So yes, PCF Productions. Uh, I'd recommend typing in his channel and checking it out because I looked at his channel actually when I was looking at some of the comments and he has amazing content. He has over 100 videos and it's all really cool stuff that I think you guys should check out. He actually met Chris Chan, so if you like Chris Chan, check that out. Uh, Sahaji Kohil, why don't you skate revive boards anymore? Um, I don't like like to ship stuff and I have a local shop that sells really cheap boards. Michael Nowak, will you ever have a video part? Yes, hopefully soon. Noah Tesfay, the homie. What is your favorite car? Also, who is your favorite non-skateboarding YouTuber? Um, my favorite car is, I don't know, I'm not really a car dude. I'll just say golf cart. And then, um, favorite non-skateboarding YouTuber is, uh, I'd have to say Matt Stoney. Calvin Lee says, any tips to keep motivated? Um, I actually have this problem too, and the best thing to do is just love it and go out there. Nicole, what is your favorite board brand to skate and what is your favorite trick? Favorite board brand to skate is just the blank deck because you don't have to worry about committing to any brand. And my favorite trick is Varial Heel. Legendary Lynn Films, um, they ask, what did you eat for breakfast today? I ate oat bran, my favorite cereal, probably because it was the first cereal I remember eating. Uh, Gilmore says, how do you get your ollies so high? Uh, I always thought I had really low ollies because I was always watching videos of pros do ollies when I was trying to learn. I never skated with anyone. And then um, one day when I got my ollies as high as I possibly could, I noticed, oh, my ollies are actually sort of high. Skater lifestyle, how good is Piedmont Skate Park? Really good. Second best skate park in the world, right behind Encinitas. Justin Bion, what do you like about skating? Um, I don't even know. I, I just, It's just fun. I don't know what's fun about it. I just do it. Who in, uh, Alex Chavez says, who inspired you to skateboard? Steve Caballero is a big one. Uh, the workshop, what's your favorite running event and what's your PR? Mine in the 1500 is a 415 and 3K is a 919 and also 400 is a 53, lol. Um, so I'm definitely not that fast, but I run the 1600, the mile, and I also run 5Ks and my uh, mile time is 511 and my 5k time it depends on the courses uh, I do cross-country courses with half hills but I think my PR time is 1744 um, uh, Tatiana Gibson says what's your favorite skate meme uh, anything skater memes touches is the best I'll put something up on the screen right now Jack Dwyer how old are you I'm 15 Katsu Gibson what do you order at McDonald's I always have to get a large fry and I'll get a McDouble plain because I don't like the cheese they have there because it's sort of like plastic even though I love McDonald's favorite restaurant don't get me wrong and then I always have to get a Fruitopia and I like having apple pie uh, Dawson Gemi how long did it take you to learn how to tray flip um, it was around two two and a half years it was almost like three weeks after I learned how to kick flip. I don't know, tree flips came easy to me, but that's because I worked really, really hard and long on them. And because I worked so hard on them, that's why I got them so fast. Okay, Alex Carson says, what are your thoughts on skateboarding being an Olympic sport in 2020? Um, I think it's awesome because of all the benefits, but um, I can see why people don't think it's awesome because whenever something changes and you already had such a good experience with it, it's hard to accept it and skateboarding will change. However, eventually when uh, like it's big growing phase levels out and maybe even starts depopulizing, or I don't know how to say that word, it becomes unpopular, um, it might be at a better level than it is now. Uh, Jack Hunt says, how long did it take you to land your first kickflip? I landed my first kickflip holding on a rail six months into skating. And then it took me a year and a half to land one kickflip and then two years to learn kickflips. Um, Alex Karsten, last question, have you ever snapped your board because of anger? Uh, yes, I have. So I was trying to learn switch flips and it was a really old board and I was getting really frustrated and I almost thought in my mind like, okay, if I don't come close this time, like I'll like stomp my board but I won't like break it and I do that a lot so saying like just like to get my anger out a little bit I have no intent in breaking it and I didn't break it however um, the next try it hit my shin really hard and I got so mad that uh, I stomped the board and it just cracked and at that point um, I was almost like 
happy because I was really old bored and I just finished it off. Um, so it wasn't out of complete anger. It was more out of because I needed a new board and I was like frustrated with a trick and I thought might as well just end it off fun like this instead of just, you know, getting mad at myself. So there you go. There's my Q&A. It's probably around 10 minutes long, if not more. Uh, if someone's stuck all the way around now, wow, thank you so much. That's insane. But that was literally all the questions except like major repeats and things like that, inappropriate comments. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys. Uh, next video, I am brainstorming. I think it's going to be really cool. I'm not sure yet. But I'll get back to you on that. If you made it this far, click the poll in the corner and tell me if you made it this far. And if you do not make it this far, click no. But that means you made it this far. A bunch of like random kids at my grade are like walking by me right now and I have a tripod and a camera in front of my face and it's really, 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 really embarrassing. The things I do for YouTube.